Hi, I'm Dr. Deanna Selnow. And I'm Dr. Diane Snow. And we're the co-chairs for the University of Kentucky's QEP. Our QEP is MCXC, which stands for Multimodal Communication Across the Curriculum. That's a mouthful. You're probably asking, what in the world is that? What is a QEP? Well, the QEP is a Quality Enhancement Plan. And it's actually one of 12 core requirements for SAC's reaffirmation of accreditation. Every 10 years, we need to go to our regional accrediting, accrediting association and demonstrate that we're doing good work so that they will reaccredit us. And our quality enhancement plan, QEP, is one of 12 of those requirements. According to SACS, the QEP is a carefully designed course of action that addresses a well-defined and focused topic or issue that's related to enhancing student learning. So though we have great student learning at the University of Kentucky, the idea here is to pick something that we can do even better than we're doing right now. What is our QEP? Multimodal communication across the curriculum. And the idea here is that we want to stress communication skills and competencies across the entire campus in all of the units and all of the majors. We're here today to inform you about the QEP and kind of generate a buzz so the whole campus can get excited about it. Yeah, we want to get you excited and so basically we're the cheerleaders. So how did we get where we are today? We're going to give you just a little bit of history of the QEP process. In the fall of 2009, we actually formed the first team of four teams that are going to get us to our goal, and that was the pre-planning team. And the pre-planning team was about 30 people representing uh, people across the entire campus, and we developed a plan and a timeline for achieving our goals. Then in spring 2010 began the topic selection team. This team went across campus and collected ideas from students, staff, faculty, stakeholders, parents, community members to try to see what the university thinks is a great idea for the QEP. So once we collected all of those big ideas in the spring of 2010, our 30-person topic selection team got together in the summer and looked at all of those themes and look, or ideas and, and found six emergent themes that seemed to be uh, representative of all those great ideas. We rolled out those six themes about student learning and enhancing student learning in the fall of 2010. And we, at, and we invited people from campus to propose, submit proposals on one of those six themes. From those proposals, we had 63 proposals submitted. We actually selected 10 that we asked people to form 10-page white papers fleshing out the idea a little bit more in detail. And then we, as a topic selection team, selected four of those white papers that we submitted to the SACS leadership team in January of 2011. Then the SACS leadership team voted, and the winner of that vote was the multimodal communication across the curriculum. So as you can see, we've tried to be very ground up in our approach of picking our QEP topic. Right now, we're in the topic development team, the third team of our four teams. And what we're doing is developing this 100-page document that we will deliver to SACS that they will endorse and say, this is a great idea. Why <laughs> multimodal communication across the curriculum? Why did this one rise to the top? We're going to give you five great reasons. The first reason is it's what employers want. Every couple of years, the Association of American Colleges and Universities does a survey of employers of college graduates to find out what skills they think are the most important for the graduates that, that they employ. And as you can see on this graph, what they're looking for most are teamwork, reasoning, oral and written communication, and organizing information, all things that, can be, uh, that are addressed through communication curriculum. And the, in the red bars, they also surveyed graduates, college graduates, and found out that those same skills are what the graduates think are the most important from their college education as well. So you see what the employers want, but unfortunately we might not be hitting the mark yet. Only one in four employers thinks the colleges are doing a good job at that. 89% said colleges should place greater emphasis on developing our students' ability to effectively communicate orally and in writing. And 81% think critical and analytical reasoning skills are still needed. So those two reasons are well enough uh, for picking multimodal communication across the curriculum, but we have a couple of more. The third reason is, has to do with our UK core. You may realize that we've come up with a new general education program that we rolled out this fall of 2011, and it's called the UK core. It's based on several design principles. One of those principles, design principle number three, is vertical integration. And the idea is that the four learning outcomes that we address in the first and second year in general education should also be addressed again in the student's major before they graduate in a way that's specific to that major and the profession that that major 
prepares the students for. So this particular QEP actually focuses on learning outcome number two, competency in written, oral, and visual communication, and taking that up into the majors. And the fourth reason has to do with the graduation writing requirement. Up until now, we had this thing called the GWR. Students had to do an advanced writing class where they did an academic paper before they could graduate. That's being transformed into a communication requirement in the major that focuses on learning outcome number two. So this QEP will actually provide the infrastructure to support faculty as they develop their uh, assignments and assessment materials for the communication requirement in the major. And reason number five is that this program is unique. Across the country, there are other universities doing their QEP as well, but many of them are focusing on only oral written, or communication or written communication, but ours focuses on oral, written, and visual communication, so it's unique in the effort. So we're, again, UK, we're a trendsetter. Now this all sounds really good, but what exactly will this MCXC look like? Well, the QEP is a two-pronged approach. It consists of faculty development and student tutoring. The faculty development part will help faculty design communication-based instruction, assignments, and assessment tools. We want them to be very fluent in their ability to help students in their communication requirements. And in terms of student tutoring, we want to station labs across the entire campus where students can go and get tutoring and mentoring support to create and refine their classroom communication projects, whether it's an academic paper, whether it's an oral communication, face-to-face -face communication, or whether it's something that they might deliver digitally and online. So where are we headed from here to January of 2013? Well, as we mentioned earlier, right now we're in the process of drafting our 100-page plan, and we're also doing focus groups across campus to determine a good mm, slogan for our QEP. In the spring of 2012, this plan will be vetted across campus. You'll be hearing a lot more about it at that time. So during the spring of 2012, the idea is to let you critique what we've drafted, give us suggestions for improving it, so that everybody feels really good about what we're going to deliver to SACS. And then by the fall of 2012, we'll have to have our plan ready because we'll be going through the approval process, getting Senate approval, Board of Trustees approval, President approval. And then in January of 2013, this 100-page document is due to SACS, and they'll be reviewing our QEP. And finally, on April 9th through 11th of 2013, SAC, a, a SACS team will come to visit our campus. And when they're here, they'll stop anyone on the sidewalk and say, do you know what your QEP is? And we want everyone to have an answer. By that time across campus, you'll see banners. You'll probably hear some songs related to the QEP. And people will be wearing buttons. We want to all be in on the action. If you have questions, please go to our website. It's www.uky.edu slash sacs and click on the QEP button. Thanks very much. Go Cats!